welcome. I'm Eric Procher, and uh, I'm with one of our favorite guests. She's back, <laughs> Salison Chicos, and we represent Jesse Brown VA Medical Center. And today, over the next 25 minutes, we're going to talk about what's cooking in the kitchen, or or what are some healthy meals, I guess, uh, for the for uh, for the summer. Um, so tune in and make sure you call in with your questions. She's got a wealth of information and knowledge. I'm going to have her introduce herself in a second, but call in at 312-738-1060. Um, and uh, our lines are now open. Hello, Allison, and welcome back. Well, thank you. So thank excited. you for having me back. So, um, uh, who am I? How, how, who are you? How do, how do, we, how do we introduce yourself? <laughs> who am uh, I? Uh, who is this lady sitting yes. over here? I've been told I've been called the oatmeal lady. The oatmeal um, lady. <laughs> but uh, here, I actually, I'm a clinical dietitian at Jesse Brown. Uh, before I was a dietitian, I worked as a pastry chef in a fancy restaurant. Ooh. I love butter. I love sugar. I love oh. salt. Mm. I love food that tastes good. Mm -hmm. But as a dietitian, am I advising everyone to use tons of butter and sugar and salt say, in all your food? I was going to say, how do you say so skinny? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of practice, mm -hmm. moderation, okay. and using my cooking and nutrition background together to make healthy recipes. So okay. we have a class at Jesse Brown, and it's called the Healthy Teaching Kitchen. And it's something that I get to do once a month. It's the second Thursday of every month. Second and Thursday every month. Where can they find that? Uh, if you go, come to Jesse Brown, you go to the Damon Building, and it is on the third floor. You go up to the third floor. We put some signs because it's kind of in a hard place to find, but it's in a classroom just inside the main kitchen. Okay. And at 10 a.m., we put up the signs, come find me. We take walk-ins, no consults or appointments or anything like that needed. Um, just come and eat and have fun with me and learn about healthy cooking and All nutrition. Right. So you're going to learn some skills, <laughs> some knowledge, and habits. Yeah. Yes, yes. And... Uh, to find out more information about that, um, we have um, the website and Facebook. They can see that. They can see some live uh, information. I'm going to be showing some videos, a little, possibly a little later in in the segment. But it's the second Thursday of every month, 10 a.m. Right there. Check us out. All right. So um, I, I just, as you introduce yourself as a dietitian, um, I just. What's the difference between a dietitian and a nutritionist? That is a really good question. Um, so the main di difference is uh, more school and uh, having a clinical internship Ooh. and taking a board test. Ooh, so which one's got more school? Dietitian. Dietitian. Yeah. Oh, okay. We got the, uh, <laughs> the more prestigious um, of the two. Yeah. So, okay. so the term nutritionist isn't uh, exactly regulated, but dietitian okay. is. So anybody okay. who has well, I'm a RD. <laughs> and onions are bad for you. Bad, bad That's onions. That's not no. true. <laughs> I, I'm a nutritionist, you're a dietitian. Okay. Yes, so I have a license to practice in the state of Illinois. Do you? <laughs> I have. I, I, as a I'm dietitian like, nutritionist. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, but my profession uh, as a nutritionist is unregulated, I guess. You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. All right, so <laughs> what. Um, uh, so tell me, we are talking about your your lab. My lab, my my research your face, kitchen. Your research kitchen, <laughs> where you're teaching veterans how to eat healthy, how to um, be nutritious, how to develop healthy habits, and giving them the knowledge and the skills to do so. Um, so, what 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 are some things you've been up to? Well, we just had our class in. Um, for June, which we were focusing on barbecue and picnic foods and kind of fun recipes for the summer. Uh, that was just June 14th. And we stream our class live, and you can find it on our Facebook page because once it's streamed, we upload it. So anybody who hasn't seen it before can catch any of our old class episodes. Uh, we got to go to the... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so in our June class, uh, we had a lot of fun. Um, learning about how to make grilled turkey burgers with Ooh. a low sodium barbecue sauce. Sodium barbecue is my made, favorite, but that doesn't seem like it's um, uh, slim fitting. <laughs> uh, well, we with, what we were doing is we were using uh, ground turkey, which can be found at the food pantry at Jesse Brown, oh. uh, as a healthier alternative to ground beef. Oh, for, for you that don't know, there's a, a food pantry on Tuesday. The 
Every Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Jesse Brown VA Medical Center. Just come on down if you're a veteran and uh, if you need some assistance in that area. Um, we're we're uh, drying up the, the food deserts in the city. And we try to utilize ingredients that are given out at the food pantry in my classes. So that's where the inspiration came from okay. with the ground turkey burger. Ground turkey burger. Um, so we did that. We also made a ginger peach coleslaw. Uh, they have a lot of green cabbage. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I, 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 Think it through. They, they don't go together in my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, ginger peach. It's like spicy and sweet. It was one of the favorite recipes of the class. Okay. Yeah. Ginger peach. Yeah. All right, all right. Uh, and they were giving out a lot of fruit, and they were giving out uh, cabbage, and that's where that one came from. Mm. We also made a mixed berry pie because I had a veteran request on how to make a healthier version of a graham cracker pie crust. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, so I take requests anytime anybody wants to learn anything in one of my classes. I, I try to incorporate it throughout the year when we can. And they can find you on Facebook. And they can find me on Facebook. And we also made a bean salad. And this has been so well loved and we've done it a few times is that we now call it our Chicago Healthy Teaching Kitchen signature bean salad. And we are oh. going to make that here today. The Chicago Healthy Kitchen signature salad. Yes. It's not the Allison Chico signature salad. No. Um, we're, we're giving credit Chicago to the Healthy Teaching Kitchen. Healthy Teaching well, Kitchen. Well, and that is me. By Allison Chico. By Chico's. Allison Chico's. Yes. Um, so how do you feel about making the bean salad? Um, I have two left hands, uh, but I'll do my best. I think you can do it. We have the ingredients here to make some bean salad. Okay. And so we are going to start out by, let's start with the dressing portion of it, the easy, right. easy part. Right. Okay, so we have here, you got to take that lid off. What is that? That looks like a jar. It is a jar. Okay. It's a mason jar or, mason jar. or a glass jar or yes. a ball jar. There's all kinds of names for this kind of canning jars. It doesn't have to be this one exactly. You don't even have to use a jar. You can just use a bowl and a whisk. Okay. I like this because it keeps it contained and I only need one thing. What's that? <laughs> just the jar. Just the jar. Because <laughs> okay. we're going to shake it. Okay, so what do we need to put in there? We need to put in some olive oil. So we have two tablespoons oh. of olive oil. Two tablespoons. So we got to oh. open it and pour it in. We have a caller already. Oh. Are you ready to take the call? We can take we can pause on this and okay. take the call. Let's do it. Hello, Eric and Allison. My name's Peter. Hi, Peter. I have a question regarding vegetarian and vegan yeah. people. Yeah, I can answer. I'm family. a nutritionist. Okay. <laughs> We've got some family members that are really gung ho and pretty much uh, trying to steer clear of anything related to meat and puts a little added oh, pressure on idea. us and. <laughs> it kind of puts added pressure on us, and you know I've explored, you know, buying various, uh, you know, uh, meatless patties and 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 different things uh, in the freezer section that are all meatless. I'm just curious if you had a a go-to type of thing that you like to make that uh, you think is above and beyond uh, delicious. Oh, uh, like as in a meatless patty substitute? Yes. Yeah, yeah, or, you know, a dish, you know, maybe make it a two-part question. <laughs> okay, um, well, I, let me think about that for a second. While she's thinking, I've been a vegan vegetarian for 26 years, and I've been through all the, the whole gamut of uh, veggie burgers or uh, these substitutes, and they, they've changed, and the technology's changed. There's a couple on the market right now. One that's getting a lot of uh, rave reviews is called... Um, Something I forgot. I can't remember. <laughs> um, but they're all frozen, so you go to the store, you buy them out of the frozen uh, food section. You know, you so. know I've had luck with uh, black bean burgers. I haven't posted any recipes on that, and it would be something good to do in class sometime soon yes. now that we think about it. Uh, and that, it sounds like a request. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I really do enjoy a black bean burger as a vegetarian replacement. Um, I Me also too. really just like a really nicely grilled portobello mushroom. Marinated a little bit with some olive oil and maybe some balsamic vinegar on top of it later that that's, I love that's so 1999 I love I it know. though I, know. I you know I I'm, <laughs> I know it's I like simple. what I like it's simple and it's easy yeah I, I like what I and like we, and it's taste we can't judge people <laughs> yeah. and I just did I'm terrible I just food shamed the dietitian <laughs> Um, we did make a pinto bean and lentil version of a sloppy joe in our healthy oh. teaching kitchen class in March, which is posted to Facebook, the recipe, but it is not vegan. It's vegetarian, okay. but it has Worcestershire in it, and that has fish product in it. 
So it's well, not I, vegan. I, I'm sure some of our vegans can look a little bit like is, that. But it is, yeah, I, I, it is plant-based protein, and it is really delicious. Uh, that and, one we. And what would be a substitute to Worcester? I would just probably. Uh, what about a um, little bit of soy sauce, maybe? A little bit of soy sauce. A little bit. Okay. Um, or just leave it out. Yeah. Maybe add in a tiny bit of allspice. Okay. I want to see that recipe. It's on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> All right, is there, uh, all right, so thank you for calling. That was a great question. Um, Should we get back to our salad? Let's get back. We were just starting our salad. So you I were putting know. two tablespoons of oil into our jar. Okay. And I just realized that I pulled out two oils and no honey. And what kind of olive oil is this? It's just olive oil. Oh, it's just olive oil. Doesn't matter? This is cold. What does cold press mean? It's just how it's processed. Is that a good thing? Yeah. Should it be pressed more than once? <laughs> okay. Olive oil is olive oil. I mean, in different applications. Uh, there's all different varieties. There's different manufacturing methods of it. There are uh, different flavors that you're going to get from it. But depending on how you're using it, uh, the higher end cold press ones, if you want to use that for a salad dressing or a dipping sauce, um, that can give a different flavor. But if you're using that while you're sauteing, eh. No, I have a, a question related to that. Um, I read somewhere that um, you should probably store the olive oil in the refrigerator because it can spoil easily. Yeah, it's a fat. Right? It's a fat. Mm -hmm. And all fats can oxidize. That's part of the reason why they're usually in um, darker bottles mm -hmm. to help block out some of that light. So storing olive oil in the refrigerator, um, storing nuts, that's a fat that can be stored mm -hmm. in the refrigerator or even the freezer if you want it for nuts. Mm -hmm. um, that is a way to kind of help prolong the shelf life if you shelf don't life. go through as much of it. You're right. Okay, so okay. we have four tablespoons of white wine vinegar. Oh, white wine vinegar. Yes. Now, do you have to use white wine vinegar if you don't stock that at home? No. 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 <laughs> you can use other That's vinegars. The yes. <laughs> I got a feeling you're all about flexibility. Yes, mm -hmm. I like teaching methods, and we can modify the recipe to what you like. So okay. if you prefer balsamic vinegar, yeah. use balsamic vinegar. Okay. Okay. So then we want to sweeten it up just a little bit. We have one mm. tablespoon mm. of honey, mm. and so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a spoon for you. <laughs> Pour that in. Best you can. If we have, if we spill, I can wipe it up later. <laughs> you're doing great. I'll take the spatula back from you when you're done. I'm a little, uh, a little obsessive trying to get every drop. <laughs> okay. Now we need to do just a little bit of salt and pepper. So we have a quarter teaspoon of black pepper and a half a teaspoon of coarse kosher salt. And I know it seems a little crazy to talk about healthy low sodium cooking and we're putting a little bit of salt in, but when we are cooking from scratch, we're in control of all of our ingredients. So we're not using a store bought dressing so we can add in a little bit of our own. Okay. Okay, black pepper. You make this so easy. <laughs> And this is this, this is coarse kosher coarse. salt. So kosher. there's all different types of salt. You can get really fine crystals, and they can get more coarse. You can have flake. There can be gray salt and pink salt. And at the end of the day, it is all salt, and it will raise your blood pressure. Hold up. You don't have a uh, what's your your take on Himalayan versus uh, sea salt? Uh, <laughs> it's all salt. It's all salt. Some of it's going to have a slightly different flavor. And isn't if you're... there some kind of spiritual thing you get from a Himalayan salt? Doesn't it? Uh, I think you're gonna have to educate Resonate me on your, that one. I, uh, like, auras? Uh, no. I've heard it can like help purify the air, but I don't know really any. I, that's just okay. something I heard. I don't even okay. know from where. So. Okay. <laughs> um, but it has we, a tiny we, different we, flavor. We don't have evidence base yet. On no, that, that is okay. not. not. Yeah. No so you're gonna shake up shake that it. dressing. Just shake, shake it. it. Shake it. Shake uh, it. Let me put the lid on tight first. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. You could be a high-end bartender. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we have our dressing made. We'll put that to the side. Now we want to toss together the bulk of the salad. Oh. So this is, what kind of salad did we say this was? Was it a pasta salad? No. Was it? A oh, bit? there's our bowl. Hey, it's a bean salad. Okay. So we have four kinds of beans here. Okay. Beans, Don't, beans, beans. Yeah. Good put, for your heart. The more you eat, the more you have fiber in you. Okay. <laughs> and the better you feel. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. Um, so uh, you can open them up and put them in the bowl. Here, I'll give you a bigger spatula for this one. Why don't you take this one? All of them? Yeah, all of it. How many people are we feeding here? A big party. A big party, okay. <laughs> so we have four cans of beans, like the regular 15 ounce beans cans. Um, and so we got okay. one can what of, kind of beans? black beans. Black beans? What's that one? Uh, re pinto. Pinto. That's but some people turn uh, them into refried beans. Yeah, yes. We've got one can of pinto beans. Kidney. Yes, mm -hmm. one can of kidney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which one's the healthiest bean? They're all healthy beans. No, there can only they're be one. They're all healthy beans. There can this only is be not one. a bean competition. That's why there's four <laughs> kinds of beans in this recipe. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And we've got one See can. See I make everything into a competition. <laughs> it, it's me. It's not her. Oh, um, this is a chickpea. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Also known as? Um, Starts with Carbanzo. G. Yes, Carbanzo. yes. Okay, this is a spoon for you. So what's important to know is these were all cans of no salt added No beans. salt. Yes. Okay. So it's pretty cool in the grocery store. A lot of places now carry them. It didn't used to be available all the time. Um, Look at all the colors. If now, you can't find no salt added canned beans, you can use three cans of reduced sodium and one can of regular. You're stirring it up. You're making it look beautiful. I'm stirring it up. <laughs> okay, we have three more ingredients to add. Okay, all so we've got our celery. Colors. Look at them. We've got, we, so we've got a nice soft texture in here, we okay. want to add a crunchy texture. Crunchy. So our crunchy texture is our celery. Celery. So we have mm. three ribs of celery, also known as stalks, just mm. chopped up. However okay. you want to chop it is fine. So we can put that in there. Another and interesting it's fact. just about a cup. Did you know that chewing a stalk of celery will, um, you'll be negative in your You're calories. You're burning calories because it's calories. so low. Mm -hmm. The amount it takes to digest it and break mm -hmm. it down. Mm-hmm. You knew that, fun fact. Oh yeah. Celery is great. Okay, now we have mm, anywhere between Oops. two tablespoons and a quarter of a cup of chopped parsley. Ooh, parsley. Parsley. I love parsley. It's a beautiful herb that's sometimes used just for garnish, but I think it has great flavor. And especially in the summer when we have all of our herb gardens I in. Might, might counteract that shallot breath. <laughs> <Parsley>. <laughs> we haven't gotten out the shallot yet that uh -huh. I've been taunting uh -huh. you with. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so we have. Now, Shallots a are part quarter of, the onion family. of a cup of shallot that's been finely chopped. You do not have to put it all in. Oh. You smell it. It smells beautiful oh. if you love shallots. So I terrible. love shallots. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, you can put in as uh, much as you want. Uh, okay. <laughs> you uh, put in a tablespoon of shallot, uh, not even a teaspoon. Uh. That's okay. So here's the thing. I'm teaching you how to do this. You make it so you like it. If you love shallot, put in a ton of shallot. If you don't have shallot and you like onion, you can use red onion. You can use green onion. Mm -hmm. You can use... No onion. No onion, preferably. <laughs> okay, if so you're if you're coming to my house, if you don't like onion, uh, something I was thinking about, which would be kind of interesting in here, would be if you finely minced one clove of garlic and had just a little bit of oh, raw okay. garlic in okay. there, that would take it a little bit of a uh, different direction. That's the only um, onion cousin I can tolerate. <laughs> okay, so now we have all the ingredients in our beautiful salad. Give this one last shake and then pour it over the top. Really shake it. <laughs> okay. Mm. All right. And then we're going to pour it over. We're going to pour it over. And then we're going to stir it all together. We're going to stir it all together. And, sh and try not to spill too much. How do you get these things clean? I put them in a the dishwasher I do too. and they get rusty. You dry them right away. Oh. It's the water. <laughs> Don't leave them in the dishwasher. Oh, oh. okay. <laughs> so that's it. That's our bean salad. And um, I guess we have a caller. Um, Oh, another yeah, caller. Yeah, I distracted Great. you with all this cooking. All right, hold up. Let's see overview of the beans. Oh, this hey. is the beans. Yum, yum, yum. Hello, caller. Oh, You're... hi. Um, I'm calling because I'm thinking about switching to be a vegetarian, and I'm wondering um, if there's some good options to replace protein in my diet. That's a great question. You're with the great Allison Chikos, <laughs> and... Um, you might have some ideas. Yeah. I can give you some ideas yeah. too. Yeah, we both can do it together. Because I'm a nutritionist. She's a dietitian. You know. She's I am a registered dietitian at the VA Medical Center. Okay. Yes. Okay, but beans right here. We've got one great source of plant protein. Uh, beans are wonderful. Um, we talked about lentils before. I like using uh, tofu in dishes. Mm -hmm. uh, you can get protein okay. in a lot of different vegetables as well. There's a um, fermented uh, so soybean called um, tempeh. 
and it's really delicious. It's like one of the few uh, vegetable sources that has B12 in it. Um, so if you um, B12 is um, difficult to get as a vegetarian, it's a source of um, nutrients. Yeah, that is okay. excellent. Uh, There's seitan. Oh. It's, it's, it's a wheat meat. Sorry. I know. I was just thinking about nuts. Don't forget about nuts. Nuts oh, are an excellent yeah. oh, source right. of protein. Yeah. Nuts are much healthier. Seitan. Can, <laughs> people can have wheat allergies and stuff. It can hurt your gut. Yeah. Did we did we answer your question? Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for calling. All right. Okay. Do you want to taste the salad? Uh, let's taste the salad. And while we do this, um, you know, I'm a psychologist, and, and so I have some some questions I want to ask you oh. to get to know you. So okay. You were the to get to know you. Here, I'll serve and, you. And your your job is to have a quick response. The first thing that comes to your mind. Okay. 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 All right. So. What would constitute a perfect meal for you? Oh my god. Um, <laughs> pizza and pizza. <laughs> like my perfect happy meal yeah. or my perfect well, healthy I'm meal go, I've or my happy one. healthy together. It doesn't matter. Because perfect. it would probably be like a couple slices of pizza and roasted Brussels sprouts. Okay. And that's what I'm thinking of right now. All right. Because <laughs> th this spills over into the next question. What's your guilty food pleasure? Oh man. Well, pizza. Pizza. Um, pizza. <laughs> So don't forget, dietitian, pastry chef. I have devil and angel on my shoulder at uh -huh. all times. I uh -huh. love food that we need to eat in moderation, and I love really healthy foods too. Um, mm. So uh, I would eat pizza every day if I could, but that is not a good idea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. If you could be any fruit, what type and why? Oh my gosh, I want to be a pineapple. A pineapple, why? Yeah, because they're pineapple? pretty, mm. and they're sweet, mm. and they uh, are good for digestion, and you can put them on the grill, you can eat them savory, you can eat them sweet, and I just would like to eat a lot of pineapple. What a great answer, that is the best answer ever. <laughs> uh, we have another caller. Um, hello caller, you're here with the great chef, Allison Chicos. What is your question? Hi. Well, I think that the feedback taught me that I'm looking for some great summer dessert ideas. Oh. And uh, no. I'm open. The beans look good, but I always like to have a dessert, okay. too. We can do the um, the pineapple video. Uh, so we were just talking about pineapple. Fruit can be an awesome dessert in the summertime that's really low calorie. Uh, we just made a Healthy Teaching Kitchen video about how to grill pineapple, which we are pulling up. your screen at home. is one really fun way to have a low calorie dessert. And just two of those pineapple rings is just under about 100 calories. Uh, something that I really enjoy doing when I'm grilling in the summer is having that as a dessert. Uh, you can find other healthy dessert recipes on our Facebook page as well. We did a banana and Greek yogurt dessert that had a little bit of coconut in it. That's really fun in summary. Great source of protein in that as well. Um, yeah. Okay. So that we're running great. out of time. I can't wait to try it. Great. Thank, Thank you, you for calling, caller. We're running out of time. I would be remiss if I didn't mention that that um, June is uh, LGBT uh, month, mm -hmm. and uh, the VA, Chicago, Jesse Brown VA, is a safe zone for our LGBT veterans. Get your veteran care there. Also, um, if you are in crisis and need to talk to someone, don't forget we have the crisis line, and that's 1-800-273-8255. Um, then you press 1 for veterans, um, and that's 24-7, speak to a live person. Um, and let's see. Next, uh, we have the West Garfield Park Youth Council, um, and they are going to be coming up. And then I also have to uh, mention there's the National Native Gathering, July 21st. And this V8, um, so we're hoping to come out on July 21st, uh, celebrate with the Native Americans. Um, all veterans are welcome. 
And uh, I want to thank again Allison for for being uh, coming on last minute and sharing with us her special recipes and putting up with with my uh, um, my banter. <laughs> uh, one last question for you: Given a choice in the, in, the, in the world of who you want as a dinner guest, um, who would that be, and what would you serve them? Alive or dead? Uh, anyone, at any time. Oh my gosh. This is such a hard question. There's so many people that I want to have dinner with. Um, uh, one person? One person. Can, you. Me? Yeah. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> what would you serve me? Um, no onions. No onions. Uh, you know, that, that uh, lentil and pinto bean sloppy joe. Oh, excellent. <laughs> excellent. All right. Well, thank you again. We'll be back here next month. Um, and so please stay tuned again for the West Garfield Park Youth. And goodbye for now.